Hey, hey, hey. So, I want to go on record saying this is a dumb idea. Um, many of you might be familiar with a game called Never Have I Ever. For those that aren't, basically, one person will state, Never Have I Ever. And then anyone that has would take a drink. It's a, it's a fun way to get to know people, embarrass each other, and get drunk. Now, that is what I'm going to play in tonight's video. Now, I know that normally one would do this with your friends. Still haven't made any of those yet, but when and if I do, I will uh, be sure to try this with them. Anyways, um, I encourage all of you to play along, but the drinking is not required, especially for those that are not legally able to drink in your location, or those who drinking might cause some negative effects. So don't go getting fired from work because you showed up drunk and then say, uh, well, this guy on the internet said no. I screw up my own life enough not taking responsibility for yours. Alright, so, never have I ever, never have I ever fainted. No. No, everything was a result of an injury or been knocked out. Never have I ever hitchhiked. Yes. Why, yes, I have. I hitchhiked from Knoxville, Tennessee, all the way to North Little Rock, Arkansas, and then north up to uh, Taunty Town. Never have I ever worn women's clothes. Well, actually, this is a female's top. Um, by the way, shout out Pokai. Four touchdowns, one single game. Also, I got I was fortunate enough to play viola as a last minute replacement in Twelfth Night. Never have I ever been electrocuted. Well, a very, very long time ago, I was hanging out with some exchange students from Russia. And uh, we took them snipe hunting of course, and we had this smart gag. There's an electric fence for the sheep, not my sheep, and um, we, the, I, I forget the build up, but it was going to end with, I was going to pee on the electric fence while it was turned off. And then they would pee on the fence with me. And we we're going to have a, like a contest who could pee the longest or something. I don't know. But then I was going to lift up, you know, my stream or turn. And then my buddy was going to turn on the electric fence. Well, uh, I can't remember his name. So I'm just going to call him a Russian guy. When... <laughs> They turned on the fence, Russian dude grabbed me, <laughs> and yeah, I've been electrocuted. Never have I ever bungee jumped. Jesus. You know, I asked the person that made this for me to take off the traveling ones, because I've been everywhere. Oh. Bungee jumping. I hate. I like skydiving though. Uh, I bungee jumped in Oregon from the tallest freestanding bridge something. 
there was some thing they called it that was supposed to make it special but it was like 400 something feet I don't know how far we go down but uh, it's a little bit wild at first because you know you're standing there and they say Superman off right don't just step off uh, you have to jump out like you're Superman that was fun and you're falling a good sense of time's a little funky but I would estimate 20 seconds ish and then you stop and then you're falling in the other direction <laughs> and then a little slower back down and so on so on like bungee jumping was like a minute ish of just awesome and then you just spilled all your adrenaline and uh, and now they gotta crank you up and lift you up slowly and it seems to take like an hour and you know you get that big rush and now you're just sort of hanging there so yeah um, that kind of killed it for bungee jumping for me never have I ever ridden an animal uh, horse camel a llama but not very well uh, I heard when I was younger a sheep um, tried to catch a pig once and various horrible beasts over the years uh, many of which came home from the bar with me never have I ever broken a bone I have um, I have broken a tibia various fingers and toes and nose never broken arm wrist hand foot neck yeah neck uh, clearly not as fatal as people make it out to be <coughs> um, I was running through the house sorry toe <laughs> I briefly had nine toes um, my pinky toe got caught on the corner of a floor model television Magnavox uh, we were in Germany and I was told to get my brother and I'm running through the house to get him and cat TV catches the corner and <laughs> yeah I remember ah, I was seven or eight I remember being scared that uh uh, mom was gonna get mad that I was bleeding everywhere she didn't get mad I did think she <laughs> changed a few colors though <laughs> uh, never have I ever dined and dashed no no actually I haven't never have I ever ruined someone else's vacation all right I deeply apologize to the family in outside of Chillicothe Ohio I'm sorry In my defense, the fire did get put out. <laughs> Never have I ever had a paranormal experience. Hmm. I am suspicious of a few instances. Um, I do spend a lot of time in the Roswell area and I don't know if you think UFOs are paranormal
half a shot. Never have I ever had a tree house. No. No, I haven't. Never have I ever been on a fad diet. No. I would say the closest I've been would be a uh, uh, President Obama tried to pull some green health food for the dining facilities briefly and who wasn't great. Never have I ever spent the night with someone and not know their name. Oh, I'm glad that's worded a little bit. Um, Yes. Um, clearly, uh, don't remember the name, so can't really tell a story. Never have I ever been trapped in an elevator. In a, uh, apartment building in Gokshine, Germany. Uh, I just totally coughed that name, but Gokshine, Germany, outside of Schweinfurt. Um, I uh, know my brother uh, uh, didn't hit all the buttons, and I was younger. And this was after my toe was removed, thanks to him. Tried to convince me that we were trapped. Uh, never have I ever walked for more than six hours. Oh well, yeah. Clearly. Um, military. <laughs> Although, Stephen King, uh, in the Bachman books, and this may be the one he wrote in high school, that might be the rage, but it's called The Long Walk. In my humble opinion, it's among my favorite Stephen King books. Uh, the stand is epic and sprawling and magnificent. The Long Walk is simple and personal. Never have I ever tried to cut my own hair. Uh, not every day. And I'm not talking about shaving my face, but, uh, you know, I don't have a barber do this. I, uh, I do that myself. Dollar Shave Club. Not a sponsor, but great products. Never have I ever worked at a fast food restaurant. Man, I've been drinking. <laughs> uh, cleanest restaurant I've ever worked in. Hands down, far and above, Arby's. Um, excessively clean. Now, the Taco Bell I worked at was very clean. The Burger King I worked at was extremely clean. Just Arby's. The Arby's, I've worked at two of them now. And both times, they were obsessively compulsive about cleaning. Uh, that's just what I'll always remember. Never have I ever sung karaoke in front of people. Uh, yes, I have. And I will. Anytime I got some drinks. And. Good chance I'll do it sober. No, I'm not a good singer. Uh, no, I'm probably not going to sing on YouTube. Uh, never have I ever been on TV or the radio. Well, I was on court TV once. 
Uh, Jesus Christ, how many shots is this? It's a good thing I'm a professional drunk. And I'm wearing a uniform with the store's name on it. They still charged me $105 fine. No, it was 105 hours of community service and a $250 fine. Yeah, still on my record. Never have I ever thrown up on a roller coaster. No, I have not. Woohoo! Never have I accidentally sent someone to the hospital. Oh. Um. Yeah. A uh, there was a small fire that uh, a very nice gentleman got burned. Not badly. Not badly at all. Just a little bit. Uh, trying to help me put the fire out. And this was in uh, Ohio. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> Never have I ever dyed my hair a crazy color. Um, well, my uh, beard that I had was blue. It was supposed to be purple. In some of my older videos, it doesn't show up very well on camera. Uh, one of the zoo trips I took, you can see the blue in certain lights, if that helps. Never have I ever had to run to save my life. Um, yeah. Never have I ever seen an alligator or a crocodile in the wild. Fort Stewart, Georgia. My second time living there. One of them came up out of the water. Little one, like two, three feet, to get my dog. The dog was fine. Never have I ever had a surprise party. Twice that I know of, someone has tried to throw me a surprise party. Uh, neither time did I show up for the party, though. It, in my defense, I assumed the reason why everyone was so insistent on me being there was an intervention. Never have I ever looked through someone else's phone without their permission. I probably have. Um, I can't remember ever doing it. Never have I ever thrown something into a TV or computer screen. Uh, no, I have broken a uh, TV. But I've never thrown anything into it on purpose or accident. Never have I... <coughs> never have I ever walked out of a movie because it was bad. One time. Because it was bad. Queen of the Damned. Worst movie ever. Um, and I know there's a lot of people who are like, that's not a bad movie. First of all, from the opening scene, they get Lestat wrong. Covered in blood, come on. Uh, they based it off the book, The Vampire Lestat, instead of the book Queen of the Damned. They got the finale, the death completely wrong. They got Lestat's background wrong. Kung Fu Vampires at a rock concert. Pretty good soundtrack, though. Um, never have I ever pooed on myself. 
<laughs> During a PT test once. Uh, for those unfamiliar, a PT test is uh, in the Army. Well, probably all military, but the Air Force. <laughs> I mean, they have their version of it. But So it's uh, push-ups, then sit-ups and then run two miles and you have to get a certain score to stay qualified for the military I was very very ill and I defecated myself also vomited on myself never have I ever taken food out of a trash can and eaten it never Never have I ever had a bad fall because I was walking and texting. Never. Never have I ever been in an embarrassing video that was uploaded to YouTube. This one counts, right? <laughs> I realize the term embarrassing is subjective, but uh, yeah. A good number of my videos are embarrassing but I am engaged in some very embarrassing behavior dancing on someone else's YouTube video and anyone that finds it send me a link you win a prize Never have I ever broken something at a friend's house and not told them. Always tell them. Never have I ever worked with someone that I hated with the burning fire of a thousand suns. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um specific story nope never have I ever lied about a family member dying as an excuse to get out of doing something never that's just uncool very very uncool Never have I ever had a one-night stand. <clears throat> All right. Now I've got a pretty strong guesstimation that this is going to keep building in my system and I will be outside calling the dinosaurs before this night is over.